What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I got the Battle Fair. So I'm gonna go over what I think's good, what I think's bad, and I'm gonna show you some clips of me using the guns to see if you might like the way it's used or not. So first up is Stormbringer. I think this is probably the number one thing that you might want. Bankai has a really good video showing you the difference between this and Quicksilver, and he goes really in depth about damage and all the cool things about it. I'll have a link to that in the description for you if you want to go check that out. If you're interested in Stormbringer, I definitely suggest you watch Bankai's video about it. But basically, it shoots two weaker shots, and the third shot shoots for a lot more. And you can do some really cool things with perks and gear combos. I think it's a really good gun. And like I said, check out Bankai's video. Next up is Bear Trap. A lot of you guys are going to want this one. It is one of the best shotguns right now, especially if you're a good knifer. Kingslayer is really good with it. You can use it with either um, Scout bear trap or you can also use icebreaker bear trap um, that was the first clip this one is the scout bear trap and it is just a standard rushing loadout i do have jockey pants on and undying it helps you live and get long streaks with this gun it shoots really really high damage and then you can knife with kingslayer and you can end up getting a one shot one knife kill a lot of the time but for most of the time you're going to end up needing to shoot and then knife and then shoot again uh, with this gun, if you shoot knife, you will actually shoot faster than if you just shoot twice. So, something to think about. If you're good with knifing, go for bear trap. Next up is Survivor. This is the best AR in here, and it's one of the best ARs in the game right now. I think Bastion, Chopper, and Survivor are the top three for sure. If you want to watch my CUDA Survivor video, which this is from, I will leave a link in the description, and it tells you more in depth about how you can use this gun, its strengths, its weaknesses, and all that good stuff. So go watch that to see if you actually want that gun. And next up is Scorpion. This one doesn't do too much by itself, but it does increase your damage taken and given by 50%. So it's a double-edged sword to where people can kill you faster, but in moments like this where I've already gotten two kills and I need to one-shot people with my crossbow, it can allow me to do that. You can also use this with something like a uh, Last Breath, which will allow you to one-shot with that, and then start using the Last Breath perk after that. So it's a really good way to get the Last Breath perk started without having to hit some Someone who's already low or hitting them twice and since last breath actually shoots really slow it can really help having scorpion and this one is from a video that i took where i got my high score ever on saloon of like 538 and a lot of it was due to this uh, combo i'll go ahead and put that link in the description as well and if you like to use crossbow and or last breath, I recommend you pick this up if you don't really need anything else because it can really help you in some tight spots and really get you kick started, especially when you're having like an off day and you're not really able to outplay people too well. You can sometimes sneak up on people with this and get that confidence up and then just slay out like normal. So next up is Zero, guys. This one actually protects you from frost damage. And while it protects you against all of these guns, the only ones you really need protection from is the Orion. It'll make the Orion do a lot less damage on you. So if you're getting attacked by a lot of Orion people, maybe change to a loadout that has this frost armor and it could help you a lot. Next up is Cheetah. So Cheetah actually reduces your reload speed by 30% and it will give you 20% speed boost. So for all of these guns that have one shot sniper, it is really handy, especially for something like a crossbow or a last breath, it has to be there. Then you got the last two, which are Matador, which if you want to get it, go for it. And then Avalanche, if you want to get it, go for it. But those two are really just here because they needed something to fill the eighth and seventh spot. But I would go for those last after you have everything else, but Pretty much anything before that, just get it if you need it. And I gave you the reasons why you might need it. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Sorry if it sounded weird with the microphone. I'm actually in a car on a road trip right now. And uh, so I'm in an enclosed space. But um, figured I'd go ahead and get this out because a ton of people ask me what I think about this battle fair. And this is what I think. So, I hope you guys all have a great day. The next video after this one will be Bastion, and then after that, we are going to do the phone series. Alright guys, I hope you all have a great day.